Hey ladies, um, I thought I'd ask you a few questions about um, my pick for book of the month last month. <laughs> Sorry it took me a while um, to think of some questions, but um, first I want to know what you guys thought of Ruby Red. Um, I really love it, um, and I have a hard time waiting. And I curse that I don't speak German because I need the next two books now. <laughs> um, but I kind of just want to know what you guys thought of um, the book. Um, so I'm going to ask you a few questions to go along with it. Okay. Um, first question is, if you were forced to be a time traveler and it was something that you couldn't control something that you just kind of slip back in time at random points. Um, what city or area would you want to live in? Because when you time travel, you're not traveling to a new place, you're just in the same place, but a different era. So if you were in, say, I don't know, Chicago, and you slip back, you know, several hundred years, there wouldn't be anything there. Um, so where would you want to be if you had to slip back in time? And um, what time periods would you be okay with slipping back into? Like, would you be okay with going a couple hundred years? Would you be okay with a thousand years? Um, and what time period would be your favorite for jumping back into? Also, I want to know what three skills you would love to take with you. What would you do if you knew that you were going to be a time traveler? Would you learn how to fence, to knit, to speak different languages? Um, what three skills would you take with you and why? And also, what object would you take with you or have on your person um, for when you did slip back in time randomly? And why would you pick that? So, uh, can't hear, can't wait to hear what you um, choose and what you thought of the book. See you later.